Kathy from the Dell Fuel Co. Company and today I'm going to give you a tour of a different kind of sewing room and that is my RV sewing room. In full disclaimer, my husband and I are weekend campers. We are not full-time RVers, which sounds like a really exciting thing to do, but I would probably need a whole new camper that is just for my fabric stash. But being just weekend campers, this camper is perfect for my mobile sewing room. So the camper that we're in is an Airstream Base Camp 20X. It's a smaller camper, um, but perfect for just a couple and a couple dogs. So I'm pretty sure that Airstream designed the base camp for more outdoorsy, adventure-seeking, off-roading type people. I'm guessing they probably weren't thinking of sores or quilters. Regardless though, there's a lot of nice features in this camper that actually make it really nice for weekend sores. So one of the things that I really like about this camper is their table. This table rotates around so I could be ironing something, I could cut something, and I could sew something without even having to move my own body, which is really a nice feature to have in a camper. Also below the dinette seats, there's plenty of storage for large boxes. I've got three large boxes down there that hold my fabric and any notions I need. And also my sewing machine fits perfectly underneath the seat. And I did choose to go with a lighter sewing machine. Mine's a Burnett, I think, B38, uh, which is great for a camper because it's light. And when you're camping, you need to actually be really worried about how much weight is in your camper. There's also some nice storage up above that works nicely for sewing projects. Another great feature is the electrical outlet is located right by the table. So I have two outlets that I can plug in my sewing machine and my iron. All the windows also have these neat bungee cords that work really good for just putting your your mat or your ruler right behind it. A few other things that I use in this space are these removable storage bins. I added a few hooks so that I can put them up and take them down and store them when I'm not sewing. So the space isn't conducive to a full size ironing board, so I used a small portable one. I do have a video on how I made it in case you'd like to make your own and I'll put a link to that in the show notes. I also use a storable folding cutting mat and a folding ruler. I use some other ones too, but these ones are nice if you need those longer cuts. So having storable items in my sewing room is really important because, because we use this area for a lot of different things. And I want to be able to put everything away so that it's not so cluttered in here and it doesn't look like a sewing room when I don't want it to look like a sewing room. The space also needs to be used as a dining area, or sometimes a dog bed, um, and also our lounge area. It also needs to be stored away so when we travel, it doesn't end up all over the camper when we're going from campsite to campsite. So that's it. That's the tour of my small RV sewing room. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe picked up a few tips for your own RV sewing room. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.